This the life we live the life. This the life we live the life. We live that life. We live that. I like the intro to this Love and Hip Hop more than I love the other one. I don't know. But what's going on, y'all? Um, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, episode four. Let's go get into it. Um, we got Soldier Boy, Omarion, and Fizz playing basketball. Hope it hopefully it'll put some meat on Soldier Boy, because he around here walking around looking like a crunk ass chicken finger. Okay, and not just no regular chicken finger, a little strong, strong, strong ass fucking chicken finger that you get from Popeyes or KFC because they both do it towards the end of the night. They ain't got no 15, 20 more minutes where I don't go the last 20 minutes before they, before they close, and then it, and they, it's in the bottom of the grease, and it's just a just like a tired ass hand, like their hand off a of, um American Horror Story. I will be reviewing that. Soulja Boy, you just not, you just look burnt. You look terrible. You look terrible. And I just have to talk about that. I wasn't even going to talk about it as much. But I, you talk all this shit about how much money you worth. You want to play with the chains and shit. But, girl, your teeth looking like recycled copper. I'm I'm just not understanding that. It's just foolish. Um, I ain't want to talk about that shit no more. So, Nikki, take her ass, her plastic face ass, to, um, with her, to chill with her mama and child. The apple doesn't, or the Tupperware doesn't fall too far from the cabinet, okay? Um, Michelle A, Michelle, Mort Morticia Michelle, okay? Morticia Michelle um, Magician, okay? Because she just, she looked like she was going to give us some hocus pocus teas. Um, she just, <laughs> she just, I, she, I don't, she reminded me of Magician because her hairline kept coming and disappearing. It kept coming and going. And I didn't know if I was going or coming. I, I was just confused. So they're talking, and she's talking to the girl. Um, she's talking to her mom about the fact that she got a promise ring out of the uh, um, King Pop, Ring Pop from uh, Mystery Meat himself. And she didn't got engaged, and she happened, all that kind of shit, da 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 da. And, you know, she just spitting the tea and just saying she don't know what to do with all that. This shit is really foolish. All the women out here are really stupid except April. And April is, if I think it's um, Amarion's, I think that's, yeah, that's Amarion's um, girlfriend or fiance or whatever, pregnant wife, baby mama, whatever she is this week. And April, I'm really like, April is very pretty. Um, I'm liking her. Um, Hazel E, you look like a goddamn witch with no powers. I don't know if you got how many days, how many more days to Halloween? Shit, it's October the 6th now. So you got about 25 more days to suck as many humans, um, little kids' soul on um, their spirit and stuff and get you some more shit going on because you're starting to look like the witch that you are. Hey, Z, we've, we had a conversation, and hopefully, and I just seen a picture of you recently. Maybe you must have told um, Mona Scott to put what up on the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Facebook page, but you look decent. Um, shout out to Tyree for um, telling me about it, but this this makeup and shit that you worn this season it just looks terrible um you got too much shit going on you like you like you, bitch i want to put your ass i want you look like one of them rusty disgusted ass pies that you get out the freezer um that you buy them store bought pies and if you don't be careful handling it the crust and shit be falling off and that's what you look like. And I just want to put your ass in the oven, put you in preheat the oven to 350, pop your ass in there for about, you know, 25, 35 minutes. And hopefully I get a decent pie. You know, it won't be the good homemade shit, but, you know, it'll be enough to survive for me tonight. Um, and you use it. You need to use your pie. I guess you must be like Genie from Aladdin. You can't make nobody fall in love with your dumb ass. Okay. Um, you sit up here just begging Young Berg and doing all this shit. You clapping your ass and sipping on this damn cheek but I'm so tired of folks putting pictures of Ciroc up. I hope and I pray that Puff Daddy P. Diddy, whatever his name is this week, is giving y'all some sort of incentive or something to promote Ciroc. Because the way y'all talk about it, it's like the finest vodka on the planet. You have you have other vodkas that are more um, better than, than Ciroc, to be honest. Try some shit. Try Kettle One. Try Grey Goose. Try... Um, what is it? It's another one that folks always ask for. Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's some other premium vodkas, you know, that are there. I just try them out. It's more than just Ciroc and Ciroc Berry and all that. But y'all know it. All it takes is one wrapper to put up a put up a, some shit, and y'all flock to the damn stores and buy this shit like y'all buying it 
Buy one, get one free ass Moscato. But moving on swiftly and professionally, we're going to talk about this shit. So, I guess Hazel and Youngberg, and Youngberg, you got, you are too cocky for somebody with a pencil dick. Okay? And your pencil dick doesn't have no girth, girl. Your, it, it just looks pitiful. Um, It just, girl, it just looks sad, depressed, upset. Um, It looks wilted. Your penis is giving me rotten lettuce teas because it can't stay up. It's soggy. And you got the nerve to be in there with that Liberty Blackberry Pearl. And you like you got a pearl tongue for a penis. Okay, I hate it. I hate it. And then you just got too much confidence. And you know what? You treat Hazel E. I'm just not liking that. I'm just not. And then come to find out, I read an, um, somebody had shared a little article or something with Miss Gia. And um, it was saying something that Miss Gia was talking about that you, that you have a problem with dark skinned women or something. Or their butts. So you don't like, you got a preference, you know. And, you know, we on this whole light skin, dark skin, and what is colorism and all this type of shit. And it's just, child, I don't know why some of y'all be surprised that some of these, um, and that's why another reason I'm not here for you. I'm glad they brought, because I didn't know that about your skinny dick ass. But it's just, I am don't be surprised that people like you be having, you know, there's a lot of folks that think like that. And, you know, you're just foolish. And the fact that you let that come out your mouth and let that be recorded and documented in the Mac and something, it's just foolish. So, you know, her, him and young, um, him and, Young Turtle, what's her name? Um, Young Bird, oh, damn, I can't even remember these irrelevant assholes name. Um, Hazel E, the witch doctor. Okay, so they sit. You know, I guess they done fucked on a futon, and she's like, okay, you know, we didn't fuck. So everything, girl, just cause you done gave him some snatched on me, he owe your ass. He ain't got no loyalty to your dumb ass. Girl, he fucked you on the futon. How can you be okay with that? And then you getting up, and you just like, huh, huh. you don't love me, and duh. And he basically let you know you talking about some. Well, I know he a player, but I thought we, because we had, girl, just because you gave this man some snatch don't mean shit. Like I said, it don't mean nothing because you done gave him some. And uh, your, uh, your your purse is still dry, but your, 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 your the, hopefully it's wet. And your eyes are wet too from crying. You dumbass, goddamn big nose, buzzing nose head, girl. Girl, I don't have you feel like talking about Hazel E no more. She got my damn skin crawling. What her silly ass. What else is going on? Um... And, oh, yeah, we get to this, and I don't know this girl name. I can't remember who, who, maybe I'm fucking up name. If I did, I apologize. Who is Fizz's girl? Who is, who is, I can't remember. It's, like I said, it's too many people. I'm not going to remember all these girls' names. So they on the boat, and don't they on the love boat, and they talking. I thought it was just really sweet how Fizz had grabbed her face and kissed her, and then all of that. And I just think Fizz is a little serious with the girl. Hopefully he is. From what I can see, it's like they're serious. And he's just telling her, you know, let's move in together. You know, let's take this commitment thing to another level. But it seems like she has um, commitment issues or whatever. So, you know, people to have that, people that have commitment issues, I understand it, but you can't hold this. You can't hold on to this shit forever. Move on, do what you got to do, because you're gonna be forever lonely and forever by yourself if you let this shit get to you. It's just not worth it. Um, what else was going on? Masika, you, uh, you. I mean, Masika, Tiara, Tiara Marie, and Morgan ass is talking, and I'm just, I don't understand the purpose of them having their little tea session or whatever because it looked like. Everybody titties is sweating. Everybody pulling on their bra and jacket on it and pulling on and titties is sweating. Tierra Marie, we know your titties sweating. All this silicone falling out of it. And then Morgan, she got on the probably a damn wire bra, so I know her titties hot and stinging. She probably got a ring around her titty. It's just I don't understand the purpose of that. And Masika just she was talking about Nikki um, because they both fucking this fucking mystery meat, and neither one of them know who was just the main one. And it's just foolish. It's just foolish. Mama, oh, let sit down, girl. Sit down, honey. Let me have a conversation with you real quick. Mama, oh, you are too goddamn old to be simply depending on your man to you, because oh, because that's what it sounds like. Because you way you're talking, it, it, you're too old to be sitting up here. You're not, and it's not about you being old. You're not because you're not old. You're too damn grown to be sitting here can um worried about your son. Girl, you talk like you're 70 something years old. I mean, girl, you still able and you mean you still able and to do shit. You need to get your ass a job. And you talking about these seizures and stuff. Girl, that's why we have the Affordable Health Care Act. Hopefully you voted and hopefully you got that shit passed and do what you had to do. Okay. So girl, go find you some uh, some health insurance, girl. It's nothing for you to find some health insurance. Go find you some, honey. If you don't know, like girl, I just don't understand. Like, go get you some and you and you don't, you just don't seem like you understand that. Like this boy's getting ready to bring a, a son, his son into this world, 
And he has his own family. And and mama, oh, you act like you 75 years old in a goddamn wheelchair. Like you getting pushed around, girl. It's not that. Go find you a damn job, girl. Maybe you need to be one of them folks in Walmart um, checking the receipts. or uh, You need to be doing that to do what you got to do to take care of yourself, girl. Somebody said, yeah, yeah. And it, you're, you're just disrespectful. I'm coming back on get on your ass in a second. Um, the ass and cap um, awards. I didn't see. I never heard of it. Um, looked it up. It's some award show. Um, it's not televised. Okay, it's not even on. Uh, can't even a, a link to watch it. But it's a award for um, basically the snitches on the internet to go and seeing who who using their um, material and copyright material and seeing who's uh, performing their stuff and not paying them coins. So I guess them the ones that's going on YouTube looking to make sure that you got the rights to this shit before you play it cute cute or whatever. It's, it's interesting. Um, so they had the war show, and I guess Hazel E thought Young Bird was going to take him, but he took, you take her, and he didn't, okay? he Of course he did. He took somebody else, and um, the girl, she looked so lost. You can tell she was found out of nowhere. Mona Scott found her probably from the Bailey Agency and, and got her ass in. You girl, ain't no way. I hope Mona Scott gave your ass some type of extra money to get a drink thrown on your ass. Because, baby, I hope it was water because I would have been ready to snatch Hazel's soul out of her body. Okay? There is just no way. you. I, everybody getting baptized this episode with water and alcohol, girl. Ain't no way you finna throw And then Young Bird didn't do shit. Like, he just stood there. Like, you ain't protect your girl. Go get a cloth. And that's how I can tell you she wasn't shit. Young girl, you ain't shit. Okay? Um, it, just, it was just food. I didn't understand it. Then y'all tried to act like the Ask Capital Wolf was something serious. Honey, all I seen was... um. I think that was Keller Price. I think that was Keller Price. I can't really remember because she be shape shifting. So I can't remember what size she is or what she looked like on the face. Um, then y'all got Jermaine Dupri. It's just like, girl, y'all really trying to pretend like y'all is the Grammys or something, honey. It looked like y'all was at a grand opening for a new Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, well, a kid can be a kid. Um, what else is going on? Mama O show her ass up to the damn baby shower to uh, Omarion and um, April's baby shower. With a big lots bag and a gift card to um, a five dollar gift card to Walmart, and I would have told her ass girl, you need to turn your ass around, huh? You can at least go pull on that damn silly ass nose ring and get some fifty dollars. Damn, I mean she's showing like she got an attitude, and she was just acting very inappropriate. <laughs> oh, Mario and girl, girl, inappropriate, really inappropriate. I've never like I don't even see. Unappropriate. I don't see how you screwed it. And you were trying to sound so educated, and you just look a dumbass fool. It's always the people who try to sound educated but say the dumbest shit. Like the other day, I said I was trying to think about. A, I was trying to come. I can't think of the word when you buy stuff like um, it's memorabilia. Now that I think about it, and I call it paraphilia. And paraphilia means um, almost like a pedophile. Somebody, it's something like I forget the word, but I fucked it up. And I was talking to my friend, and I thought about that. I said, "Damn, I fucked that word up." So, hope glad that wasn't on camera. But she giggled. I think she knew what it was, and she had me looking a damn fool on the phone, honey. But and what else was going on? Oh yeah, Ma, and you, they just arguing and they, they get into it, and I'm just like, hey, April, you just handled yourself well. I felt like you handled yourself well because that would have been me. I would have had to slap the shit out of her. I, I just, I just don't. You just talking crazy. You talking about something? How you gonna tell this girl on her baby shower that she's not ready? She's not ready for this. Like I just didn't understand it. Omari, you need to get Mama O under control. Give her a thousand dollars. Do something. Make her go away. Go away. Away with you, honey. Go. I just can't. I can't deal. Um, what else was going on, child? Just, just foolish. That shit just pissed me the hell out. That just pissed like. How you gonna come to somebody's baby shower, something like that, and then be trying to go in, girl? No me um, no me um. And mama, oh, you talking about some? She gonna drop a baby off. She gonna drop the baby off and go on about her business. How she gonna drop a baby off to you? You got to accept the child first. You can't nobody drop shit off to you. Just tell her ass. No, girl, like that just didn't make any sense. It was just crazy. It was just stupid. Mama, you just making excuses to get your damn money for whatever you're using it. You're saying medical shit, but I believe you're starting you use it for something else because you fiending, honey. Okay? Watch out. Okay? Okay? Uh, what else was going on, child? Listen. Um, I just don't understand why... I, I'm just going to say people. I'm not going to say women. But I know, I've seen a lot of women do it. Why do people... What, no, why do women... 
and not all women do this, but I, I see I see it too much, especially on Facebook and Instagram. Why do y'all and Twitter? Why do y'all pride men and clap for their ass when they do shit they're supposed to do? I don't understand that. I don't understand how <laughs> the Nia, Nia, whatever her um ass is, whatever her name is, was praising Soldier Boy for putting up a um a protective gay and a baby a play pen and. He says, yeah, he, I guess that. I, I give it. He put up the play up in and I give him some pussy. Girl, he's supposed to do that shit. He's, it's some, I just don't understand. He's your man. He's supposed to. Girl, I, I, I don't understand this shit. Like, men be, y'all be having men vacuuming and cleaning up and picking their drawers up at the damn, and they call and saying that they, well, they, they doing, he doing. Girl, he's supposed to do that vacuum and clean and wash the dish. They're supposed to do that. Don't be bragging about that dumb ass shit. Y'all be taking pictures of it. Putting on Instagram and, and talking about it, girl. He's supposed to do shit. You only confront. I guess because he put up the play of thing. I can get me. Yeah, we can. Girl, that don't mean she was just talking crazy to your ass. The, like not too long ago. So Nia, you just stupid, girl. I don't. I hopefully your ass don't make it to the reunion because I'll be ready to chunk your ass into the abyss, child. So we finna have. I guess everybody finna get their toes massaged and sucked on and played with. Cause um, what's the girl Morgan having some type of shit? Um, for the girls or whatever. She just basically wants to stir the pot, which is cool with me. I, I want to see it. And Nikki walk her ass in looking like a vase, a vase out of Marshalls. Irregular with the clearance tag on it. Buy one, get this shit out of the store. Nikki, your face is fucked up. I mean, girl, your face looked like a Dixie plate. That was, you know, it's, it's too much juice in, and it's just starting to fold. And I, it looked like I can just pick it off. It looked like I can just pick your face up. Like, girl, you were giving me face off tease. It feel like I can pick your shit up and sit it in the middle of my damn table. And say, bow my head down, eyes closed. Like, girl, I just... Nikki, and you just looked a damn fool. And Masika, girl, you were Masika was throwing some shade. Masika, whatever, how they had you, Massacre, whatever, Bufasa, whatever the damn girl name is. Talking about some girl, you talking so much shit. Um, but I, your face is moving. I hear you. You're you're talking, but your face ain't moving. Child, that shit had me screaming. But Masika, girl, you can't talk too much shit, cause girl, you walked in looking like some a uh, damn tight ass outfit out of Burlington Co. Factory, and both of y'all are worth. Practically the same, okay? One store just a little bit more cleaned up, okay? But both of y'all bound the same shit, irregular and dumb. And fucking over this criminal mind-ass mystery meat dude. I just didn't get that. Um, That's a fool. So they getting into it, they talking, they popping off and da-da-da-da. And, and they just going off. So what's the name going to take her ass, stand her ass up? She's the only one with the glass, okay? And she's going to chunk that motherfucker at... at Nikki, baby, when she threw that water, I thought I thought Nikki was gonna start ah, poof. Or her hair gonna I thought something was gonna fall off. She she did the wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> she did that shit and wiggle back up because she like a damn worm. She like some shit off the strain. And she said she was straight. And then she walked out. She had that fish net on her booty. Baby, her booty looked fake as hell walking out. And she just looked fake. Like women. It, it don't take all that to look. And, and just people, period. It don't take all that to look like something. What are you all trying to look at? What is the definition of beauty? Okay? And beauty is the, in the eye of the beholder. I guess to me that means that if you think you look good, you look good. But, girl, I, that's too much because some of y'all have be walking around here looking like Tupperware. And some folks' face be melting like Tupperware, too. But that's a whole nother story. This plastic surgery shit is taken to another level. And I don't... And, and Ooh, we just doing it too much. Some of y'all looking a hot-ass mess. I'm not finna fool with James tonight. Um, Anyway, that's all I got. Um, This episode was boring as hell. I just did a longer review to make it seem like... Make it you are worthwhile. But this episode was really boring. I'm just... Loving Hip Hop Hollywood is just not giving me what I thought it was going to give me. And I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. But hopefully it get better. I'm still having my hopes up. But, you know, with so much other good shit get ready to come, you know, we got American Horror Story and we got The Walking Dead coming the same damn week. And I will be reviewing both. And I got my How to Get Away with Murder and my Scandal. And eventually I got my Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I think I would be good. And then we got the show with the... um. The Divas, with Conscious Vaughn, she can barely turn her neck around. You know, it's stuck. And the other girl, I might review that. Ugh, it depends. 
Other stuff I'm just not gonna do. But I appreciate you all so much. Um, like my video, share it on Twitter, Justin J1232. Follow, share it on Facebook, cause some of y'all don't be sharing my videos on Facebook. But I'm not gonna beg you to. If you do or you don't, I understand, honey. Get it, got it done. Okay. Like my Facebook page, Justin J1232. Uh, remember that every Wednesday we do our uh, Wasted Wednesday. Don't forget Wasted Wednesday when you get to pick and choose the topic that you want me to talk about and ask me questions. And that's how I interact with you. I love you so much, and I'll talk y'all later. Deuces.